First, though, my first guest believes that we're on the cusp of a networking revolution. Now, for what to expect and look into the Internet of Things along with the future of Wi-Fi, leading manufacturer of networking equipment, Netgear's global CEO, Patrick Lowe, joins me in studio. Mr Lowe, thanks very much for your time. Welcome to Australia as well. Thank you so much, for James. Um, You've described networking as being on the, the cusp of transformation, not dissimilar to what we've seen in smartphones. What do you mean? Yes, I think we are just about to enter the age of Internet of Things for the homes. What is that? Uh, that means that beyond connecting pure computing devices such as your iPhone or iPad or your laptops, Chromebooks, we're starting to see other devices or appliances which are powered by electricity being connected to the internet and that's for the sake of both comfort convenience and safety what does that then i suppose have implications from a a, a customer as well as a business perspective uh, from a customer's perspective if you are a home dwellers that would significantly improve the quality of life as well as the safety surrounding the home environment uh, some examples like that, um, we are seeing light bulbs, we're seeing light switches being connected to the internet. Mm. So we'll sense that you're close by because of your location of your mobile phone, that those lights will automatically turn on before you enter the house. So that's one example. The other example is the, uh, just like yesterday, um, back in uh, our, our Bay Area, uh, a burglary was was caught on the video camera on the phone and it was watching watched live by the person and now that particular video is put on YouTube and we expect that this burglar will be caught pretty soon. I imagine though that that puts a, a lot of onus on on the speed of connection now I did not know this but Wi-Fi only as fast as the slowest component that's accessing it at any given moment. That's exactly right um, that's the that's the nature of this how Wi-Fi was designed a long time ago is a round robin mm. sharing uh, but then every time you get your robin or right, you could hold on to it as long as you want yeah. <laughs> so all the other guys have to wait for you right so so that's why you're gonna make sure that you don't let the slowest device to slow down the entire network and given the fact that a lot of the devices like a Wi-Fi connected thermostat mm. a Wi-Fi connected light bulbs they're not gonna be fast no. so you would like to really put them onto a network of themselves that they, they go about their own way while the other devices such as TVs which is coming very soon over here is streaming high definition video as well the gamers like the kids who are playing online games they gotta be on the fast lane yeah and that's what we did and that's what we just introduced about a month ago in Australia what we call the Internet of Things router which is tri-band router so you could segregate the various devices of various speeds into their own network and it, so th is that that's something that's available now is it that's available now actually uh, before I came here I went to a few shops and they were all having them on the shelves are, are we um, late to the party in terms of g getting this kind of uh, product this sort of technology no actually we're the first right in the world to bring that technology to the market and actually uh, we chose only three markets to introduce this new technology first the US Australia and China. What is it about Australia then that, that made the, the list? Um, Australia is actually at the forefront of adopting technology. Is that right? Yes, absolutely. Um, the general speed of internet connectivity in Australia is actually pretty high up in mm. the ranking uh, of, of the world and clearly Australians have always been known as the early adopter of technology. So that is why it is important for us to introduce this new Internet of Things router or we call it a tri-band router in Australia first. More broadly, in terms of the, the advances that we're seeing in, in technology, is it driven by the technology itself or is it driven by the, the, the needs and demands of consumers and businesses? I think it's both. Uh, the technology itself has to create something that's of convenience mm. and exciting to the end users and then the end users will get to it. A good example is what I what you started off is the smartphones. Yeah. All right? Smartphones is so much more expensive than the feature phone. However, when it was created that it generates so much convenience that people say, yeah, I really like this mm. because even though I pay three times more, I'm getting so much more out of it, ten times out of it. So that's why you see people flocking into the smartphone. How difficult then, or I suppose, where does it position Netgear? I mean, you're a global uh, company. 
Are you looking to constantly stay ahead of the, the technology? Are you looking to develop it yourself? I mean, it's such a competitive spot and something by its very nature that is constantly changing and evolving. Yes, uh, one thing that is uh, of particular, you know, differentiated position that Netgear has is we always work with our technology partners mm. to bring the latest and the greatest to the market because we understand uh, for home networking, we're not as big as the enterprise networking companies such as Cisco. So we don't have unlimited resource to develop our own chips, to develop our own standards. So we work with our chip vendors such as Qualcomm, such as Broadcom, to co-develop technology that brings it to the convenience of the consumers. And is it ever-changing? Um, yeah, I mean, the, basically the last generation of routers that we introduced, which is the 11AC, was introduced only nine months ago. Now we <laughs> move on to this tri-band, yes. All right, unfortunately, we've run out of time, but Mr. Lowe, really appreciate you joining us today. Thanks very much. Thank you so much, James. Patrick Lowe, they're the global CEO of Netgear. Now, moving on to other news.